Hello there, this is Cindy at cindybdesigns.com. Thank you for joining me today. I am going to be featuring the Christmas Wishes Kit. Those are the cards that are in the kit, the last frame. These are going to be our alternatives. And as always, I'm going to stick to the kit as much as possible, bringing in minimal outside supplies. In this case, it's just going to be paper, ribbon, and a few embellishments. So, in this kit, you have eight cards, four cards of each design, and then those beautiful gold envelopes there. And as always, you know, we have our IKEA directions, you know, to be blunt. And this one's a lot of fun. I went through everything as I created these cards and tried to put my alternatives together. And there's a big difference in between the paper and pumpkin kits and then the monthly kits that, that are released. And I'll get into that. But in this kit, Old Olive Pecan Pie, Poppy Parade, Pretty Peacock, and Gold, you get a Pretty Peacock little, you know, cube there. And then full-size Stampin' Dimensionals along with some, you know, tear and tape. And... All kits come with a block that's equivalent to the size of our D block in, you know, the annual catalog. So those are our two card bases there. The inside is already done for you. And there are really no cons to either, you know, paper pumpkin or our kits. But there is a difference between them. And like I said, we'll get into that as this progresses. So this is a stamp set in that kit different fonts, which I always love, a nice big sentiment for the middle that will fit into the inside. And then we have two line art images, eight beautiful gold envelopes. And then we have eight stickers there. And I do have a card idea for that that you put on the envelope, you know, very, very personalized. And those sheets there will fit our sentiments of the large or the small. And then we have all these accent pieces that we'll be using as well. And two of the stamps in the kit, those line art stamps, you can stamp them atop of what I'm pointing to right there. You know, both sizes. You know, again, lots and lots of options. Not too many materials left over because they're very specific, but you know, we're gonna do this. The first two cards that we make, they are going to be the cards that are in the kit in the examples that I showed you earlier. And you wanna make sure you have everything lined up right, like the inside before you do the outside, which is why I did this. And it's like, oh no, no, I'm checking it out, gotta turn it around. And then I'm going to put the sentiment down and use my full size pretty peacock pad because I kind of collect the you know ink cubes for whenever I need them. And I'm taking that one small leaf there and I'm going to lay that down in Pretty Peacock on top of the printed Old Olive, you know, just to get that line art with a solid. It kind of gives it a little bit of pizzazz, whatever. I'm not gonna say that Shazoom word, I guess I just did. Anyhow, I'm putting down that large sentiment stamp and that is great for the inside. And our last card is going to feature that. Inking that up in Pretty Peacock, laying it down, got a good impression the first time around. With this video, I'm slowing it down a little bit because when I go like 400%, I feel like I'm choking on my words and tripping over them, and I don't like that. So we're going to get back to our sentiment there. We are going to want to stamp that Mary down three times in Pretty Peacock. I'm going to line it up there on one of those labels and then to the right, it kind of lines up with the half inch mark on the grid mat there. And again, I'm gonna lay that down three times. Okay, I'm still looking for a stamping tool. I really, Sizzix, I think I'm gonna go there because it, I'm hooked on the hinge door thing so I can do things like this. I haven't ordered it yet. I have to watch a few more videos, but that is where I'm going to. Um, 
I did contact Altenew about their stamp wheel. They do have a 2.0 coming out in October, but they don't have a hinged door coming out. And so I kind of put that in their suggestion box and hopefully we'll see where that goes. So this is where I pulled in, you know, some of that punch greenery that we have. And I'm taking the large leaf and inking that up again onto the old olive solid leaf with Pretty and Peacock. And then for the left hand side of that pattern or that leaf, you have to use the smaller one there. So I got all that done. I put tear and tape on the back of that. I'm going to end up putting stamped dimensionals on the back of those three sentiment panels. And I really hope I meant to cut this out. I did. Okay. Yay. You know, with um, the paper pumpkin kits and our regular kits, a lot of it is really about placement and adhering. And, you know, a couple stamps here and there. But when you do, when I do the alternatives and when you do them, it's nice to be able to jump out of the box a little bit, but if you need something quick and fast, you know, this is the way to go. So I'm pulling, you know, I, I got the green root here down and I'm pulling back in the sentiments. I want to get the bottom and the top Mary adhered down, you know, top, center, left, right. Do not do the middle one yet. Because there's more punch outs, I want to put underneath that so the leaves go over the top, you know, for aesthetic purposes. And that is where I'm like pulling off, you know, that adhesive right there. And for the first two cards, I'm sticking to what, you know, what the kit instructions are. Just so if you have any questions, you know, it's all right there got them laid down. I'm pulling off the stamp dimensionals off the back of our last sentiment there. Pop that on top and that is how easy that card is. And it's actually pretty cute I think, you know, for minimal stamping and everything like that. And then for those beautiful envelopes, great to cut apart for alternatives. I didn't do one this time with that but, you know, it's in my mind. Lay that sticker down write this recipient address on top and you're good. So for our second card, I already went ahead and did the adhesive on the back because they are pretty much the same thing with the same punch outs, um, sentiments, you know, to keep it simple. And I will admit, I kind of had a hard time coming up with the alternatives because I've only worked with this kit doing these two cards rather than sit down and pick it apart and, you know, get out of the box and design. But at the same time, though, I want to keep keep it to where you only have to bring in minimal supplies, maybe a little bling, ribbon, cardstock, an embossing folder. That is it. So got this, you know, the Christmas wishes put down with Pretty Peacock on that banner there. Going to close that pad up. Only one impression because it did work out. And, you know, still a fussy color. I want to air it out before I put the stamp the meshels on the back because I don't want it smearing everywhere. So I'm going to pop six right on there really quick. Bring back in our card base. Just start arranging and adhering everything down. And again, super simple, super easy. Now, what I want to ask of you is, do you want to see more kits, techniques, or whatever? I don't mind the kits. I'm more of a technique person. But again, you know, I need your feedback. And we're going to pop that, you know, sentiment banner on right there. And that is going to be it for the kit cards, you know, basically in the kit. For our first alternative, I am bringing in the Shade of Spruce Satin and Sheer Ribbon that's in the holiday catalog out September 4th. And that Mary stamp with the punch outs there. If I had to redo, I would have brought in the other card front rather than that striped because it looks too much like, well, like one of the kid cards. 
and I w wanted to, you know, go outside that box. So I'm taking the large leaf there. I'm going to put that down on both of those little embellishments there. Three of the large and then one the small. And I got right on top of that, you know, for the headshots because that's what you have to do. And again, for the inside, pulled in one of those little sentiment strips, popped down the Mary there real quick, lining everything up, and that will be inked up in pretty peacock. And I'm going to lay, lay that down with my Chucky real quick. Get everything cleaned up and then move on to our next step. And I'm bringing back in our card base there to get everything lined up. And it's like, do I go top and bottom, left and right, or, you know, what do I want to do? So I've stamped the dimensionals on the edges of the greenery there. And then I'm going to adhere with liquid adhesive the bottom, or the top part of it. So you're thinking, okay, we have liquid adhesive and stamped dimensionals. Do not be afraid to mix your dimension like that. I do it all the time. It's beautiful. It works out. And with a the block there, I'm setting it up because it always works. It, and it's, it's just something different. So I put down some tear and tape at the top of my bundle there. And that bow was already tied in my ribbon. So I'm going to snip that real quick and that is our first card for our second card we're going to have a couple different layers there i have a pretty peacock card base a2 a matte and then i ran our image panel through the snowflake sky embossing folder and i'm bringing in the greenery again along with one of those sentiment the sentiment banner and i'm just going to put liquid adhesive on the back of our emboss dry emboss panel um heat emboss would be you know, with a powder on top of the verse mark, and we call this dry embossing. So that's going to go right on top, and going to set that up with our largest block to, you know, for the adhesive to dry, and pull in our greenery again, and do the same thing that I did with our last card, put three stamped initials on top of the greenery, and I'm going to adhere both of them down to the card base with liquid adhesive and stamped in initials after I put seal on the back of our image panel there and get all that adhered up. Next thing, I'm going to stamp Christmas wishes in the sentiment banner again. This time around though, I'm going to use Poppy Parade rather than Pretty Peacock just for something, you know, a little bit different and to bring out the beautiful reds in this kit. When we do get this card assembled with the greenery, again, I did not want to stamp the overlayer in Pretty Peacock on top of it because I felt like we already had enough. Um, an idea is to maybe grab an old olive pad and do a little bit of tone on tone on top of those leaves if you want to add something different to it. So once again, like I said, I'm getting down our liquid adhesive, getting that set up real quick. I'm going to put six stamp dimensionals on the back of the banner, like we did for, you know, our sample card, or which one was it? Yeah, the second one. Pop that on top. And this time I'm going to add like a little bit of bling. And in the holiday catalog, we have these silver and clear, and they're called Druzy, like Druzy adhesive back embellishment so I did two large and then one small on the top now for our third card this is an idea we don't do it but I thought just for something easy grab yourself an old olive card base and maybe take um the, the large leaf stamp there it will you know accent the sticky panel with that leaf there and then maybe take the large leaf stamp and stamp it around the outside just to give it some you know something to it in versamark old olive or even pretty peacock and then add the sticker and a sentiment and you're good to go so for this card what i'm doing this time i took one of our card fronts or you know the inside and i cut that down i took one eighth of an inch off each side 
so that way I would have like a slimmer margin down to oh four and an eighth by five and three eighths and I'm going to lay that down with our seal and I want to put that down to eventually the bottom I was thinking about maybe adding the druzies back in there but no and this is where I'm stuck do I do that sentiment on the inside of the gold with old olive ink or do I do it in Poppy Parade? So this card is not assembled at all because I'm, like I said, I'm stuck and not quite sure where to go here. So anyhow, um, leave a comment. Let me know what you think I should do with this card here, what you want to see next week. And um, also, I do have a Facebook page. It's Cindy B Designs. And please feel free to join me over there for maybe a little bit more social interaction because I'm really bad about that, but I'm trying to get better because I don't do social media. So those are, which is really hindering me too, by the way, those are the three alternatives cards that we made. And then the two kit cards are going to be right on top there. So once again, thank you for joining me today. Please hit like and subscribe. Leave me a comment. And I think there's like a notification button up there too that you can hit, but I'm here every Saturday anyway. So have a great holiday weekend and I will see you again next week.